Hey you guys, all my fish fanatics out there, welcome back to Inventica Anglers. <clears throat> Today, I'm gonna, again, talk about more budget-friendly items, but there's a catch to this. A lot of you guys know I do a lot of shopping at Walmart, Biomart, every once in a while, Fisherman's Marina, or, or Fisherman's Warehouse, or whatever, Cabela's. But I don't do too much on certain ones because of the price. I can't afford to go out and spend $150 on a, on a reel or a rod, you know. I have to keep it budget friendly. I would love to be able to afford some of these really nice rod and reel combos, okay. But at the same time, I've never had a problem with my cheaper stuff, okay, my budget friendly fishing items. Again, you guys know me, and I, I like to find stuff from Walmart, like I said, you know, sell the unboxing, $5 boxing, you know. Uh, where's the other, you know, two dollar wine or whatever, you know, and I try to do my best or things that are on clearance to help you guys out, go, hey, if I know it's on clearance, go check them out, blah, 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 well, for a while, guys, I have been looking specifically for certain things from Ozark Trail, and a lot of the Walmarts here have not had them, or the ones I wanted, okay, and I finally found a Walmart that had them. And maybe all the Walmarts would get them because it looks like a couple of them had them. So when I was coming back up, this was in uh, Cottage Grove and um, Albany, I think it was. So let me get into it. This is the very first one right here. So this is Ozark's Trail Spinning Reel, okay? Now, I want you guys to keep in mind what I'm going to tell you. This is the original. This is the one you're going to find that's going to be the cheapest possible, okay? And this was twenty dollars. It's a one ball bearing, five to one to one gear ratio. And it's a size five thousand. So really good for surf fishing and you know um, crab snaring and all the ground good rod. I have not tried it yet. That's a graphite body and rotor, double analyzed aluminum spool, adjustable right and left hand retrieve, obviously. A rubber knob handle, die cast aluminum handle, sealed drag and stainless steel screws. Okay. Now, this is one of their new ones, okay? Ozark Trail. Now, pay attention to this, okay? This is the worst thing they get. There's three of them, okay? Ozark Trail Spinning Reel. This is Ozark Trail OTX Spinning Reel, okay? It's a 7 to 1, 5 to 1 to 1, and a size 3000, okay? Um, same thing in the back side. Okay, besides this has a um, rubber cork handle. Okay, and the size is 3,000. Now, this is another Ozark's Trail spinning reel. And I do apologize, I couldn't get them all in the same size. <laughs> Excuse me. They didn't have them, so I picked up what I could. This is an Ozark Trail OTX Pro spinning room. It's a 6 to 1, 5 to 1 to 1, and size 4,000. Now, Let's see if there's any major difference. Graphite, just right tree, steel drugs, and steel screws. Stainless steel main shaft. Okay. Die cast aluminum handle and rubber or not. So I'm going to do the best I can. I'm going to hold these two up together. Okay. So this is the OTX. This is the Pro. Okay. 3,000 to 4,000. So OTX. Pro, oops, <laughs> there you go. Okay, a little bit different, and then of course, this is what I consider the original. Okay, now I really think Odark Trail is um, really stepping up their game. Okay, so $20. 35. Four dollars forty, I think it is. Okay, forty dollars for a spinning reel for a size store thousand. I can uh, pick me up a couple name brands. Okay, but that's not the main show, guys. I finally found myself, and I only picked up one. Um, I should have picked them both up, but I guess I wanted to only pick up one. So. This is the OTX Pro Baitcaster Reel from Mozart Trail. 
seven to one ball bearing, seven to zero to one dual brake system. Now that was the, one of the major differences between them, okay? Oh, I meant to show you this too. So notice how this is white. That's the regular gray. And the Pro has that cool design on it. Let's see if you guys can see it that way better. Hopefully it's not just showing black. I'll take one out here. Okay, so this is a graphite frame and cover, dual unanalyzed aluminum spool, right hand retrieve, die cast aluminum handle, rubber knob, dual brake system, and two Japanese stainless steel ball bearings for added smoothness. That's the color I'm talking about right there, guys. That comes on their pros only, okay? They had a non-pro, but I wanted to get the pro to do a review. So let's take this guy out. Okay, let's see what our little paper here has for us. Unfold. Unfold again. So it's just mainly a parts list, you know. But that gives you guys what to have on here, okay? Now, I already like this real. I love the color scheme on it, and so there it is. All the pros will have that color scheme, okay, guys? So, turn that down the middle, and let's see here. Oh, yeah. So, loosen up a little bit. Let's loosen. Very nice. Wow. fingers here guys okay so this is the like I said this is the OTX Pro I have not you know obviously tried it out eight ball bearing system seven to one but here's what I did though this Walmart had Ozark Trail Pro rods or I mean sorry OTX Pro rods so Oh, here we go. Now, I'm going to talk about two different things they had. They had the Baycaster Pros, or the OTX Pros. Okay, these are all Ozark Trail. Everything we're going to be talking about right now is Ozark Trail. So they had the OTX Baycaster Pro, and then they had the Ozark Trail Grit Strip Spinning Rods, and they also had an OTX Pro. I did not buy the OTX Pro Spinning Rod. The reason why I should have brought it to show you guys, but I didn't. I didn't like the way the eyelets felt on them. Um, again, I'm very particular when it comes to things. You know, um, I like to, when I push them to be a little bit sturdy now, it could have been that there was only one in there. Could have been that someone, you know, broke them. That's another reason why I always double check everything on my fishing line, especially you guys, if you go to Walmart, or Cabela's, everything, double check everything on your line because there are people that will bend it and bend it put it on the cement put it on the, the tile floor and and step on it and take the the eyelet and they'll bend them to see how much you know how much it's going to take and they'll go get a different one okay and you may be buying the one that's broken and not even realizing it and it breaks on you then you can't return it because let's say you're day after okay so this is the otx baitcaster rod Okay, now this is a 6.8 one piece medium action IM7 graphite rod. Okay, it's rod of a cork slip grip graphite skeleton rail seat and hook keeper. So let me just start from this end here and show you guys. Change this color here, you can tell. And the real cool thing I like about it, like again, there's that that color. Look at that cork handle, okay? A lot of times when you get cork handles, they're... I've seen them in two different kinds, okay? Come here, you. I 
sit them like this. Okay. And like this. Okay. So to see them like this, that matches my reel or my rod, that's pretty cool. Okay, I really think that's pretty cool. And I can't wait to um, seal them to see. So here it is. There's the Ozark Trail. Okay, and then on it, here it goes one length, six eight, line weight, six to 12, lure, three six to five eight, action medium. And in my opinion, it's a pretty, pretty sturdy, nice rod. Okay. I think it's going to pair perfectly. Now, I'm doing everything Ozark Trail on a couple of these, okay? Because I want to test 100% Ozark Trail items, nothing else. So I'm not going to be using Spider Wars Easy Braid. Now, I have not found braid through Ozark Trail yet. I've been doing research. If you guys have and you have it or you know where to get it, let me know how much it is and maybe we can work on a deal or something and I can get it from you guys. Um, so I'm not going to be using any other, any other brands of line, okay? I bought premium monofilament line, 689 yards from Ozark Trail, 20 pound test. Then this Walmart here had um, bait holder hooks, uh, size two and size six. High carbon steel, chemically shaped barbs and shaft, bait holder, spear hook. That's what these guys are. Okay. Like I said, a couple of these I'm going to use only Ozark Trail. So there is no saying, well, it broke because I used this or I did this. When I use these rods, it's going to be nothing but Ozark Trail. Now, of course, the parts I use to throw may not be Ozark Trail. I'm going to and find it. So now, oops, let's go to their spinning rods here. Now again, I didn't pick up the other ones because I just didn't like the way they were. They felt to me. I mean, that's just me though, guys. Okay. So keep that in mind, please. <clears throat> These are Ozark Trail Grit Stick Spinning Rods, 7 2, two p I mean 7 2 piece heavy action composite rods, stainless steel uh, guys, EVA grips, and hook keeper. Oh, I forgot to show you guys with the hook keeper on the bait casters. Right here. So, this is the first part of it comes down to that clear aisle which I really like and this is the second part okay it has that cool design in it okay so on here it says a seven two piece line 12 to 50 lure um, three eighths to one ounce action heavy I always go for the heavier you guys know that it's just I don't know it's just something for me I like Okay. Nice action to it. Bait keepers right here. Now, we're in, uh, I think, $34 or $24 range. Same as buying a Berkeley uh, Lightning, I think it is, or um, a couple of other rods that were there. So keep that in mind. I really think Ozark Trail is stepping up their game to where they want to compete against all these name brands to show that hey we can do the same thing you guys can so we're gonna we're gonna find out if that's actually true you know like i said i'm gonna take the bait caster and the spinning reels and they're gonna be reeled up um with line and everything else one of them may have braid which if i do i'll tell you guys that because i try to mainly use braid that's me that's my personal preference. If I can get it on sale, I'll use it. If not, I mean, I have tons of mana filament to use, and we'll go from there. Okay. So, where is... Okay. 
we're going to test these out. We're not going to beat them to death because we don't need to. We're going to regularly fish with them and see exactly if they're any good. You know, because if these are going to last as good as some of my, my other spinning rods that I buy, and some of my other bait casters, some of the rods and reels, I may switch everything over to Ozark Trail. Why? Why not? It's on preference of what you truly like, okay? But again, I may not like the way this cast for some reason. I may not go, oh, I liked it now, you know, uh, I just, I really don't know, you know, if I, if I truly like it now. But you won't know until you test it. And that's my biggest thing. It's also price-wise. Considering both of these prices for this and this, it's still less than a hundred dollars. Hundred dollars for a rod and reel. Yeah, you can go to Walmart. You can buy the Arbor Garcia Black Max, um, the Arbor Garcia Blue Max. Sorry, yeah, Blue Max. Um, they lose Laser Pro. Walmart has it. And this is inside a Walmart store at certain ones um, for less than hundred dollars. The Shimano Claws for um, ninety seven dollars. Uh, um, then, of course, a couple other things, okay? So you can buy stuff that's already less than $100, you know? So it's kind of really up to you guys. My question is, is that if, obviously, Lou is Arbor Garcia, and they're selling stuff that's only $100 at Walmart, we know that Arbor Garcia and Lou's has stuff that's really expensive. Really expensive. Same with Quantum and, you know, Zepco. Shakespeare, we know that they, they have things that go way up in price. But if it was our churro, we know they don't. They're not selling Cabela at a $500 reel. They're selling it, obviously, at Walmart because it's their brand. So if their prices go up, is the reel really that much better than the competitors now? Or is it still the same thing? They just added a couple different coloration variations and said this is better. Or mark it up. Won't know until we try it out. And hopefully here this coming up weekend. I can try all this stuff out for you guys. And give you guys my honest review on these reels here. You know. And if I switch anything out. I'll let you guys know if I switch to braid. Because like I I'm, I'm a braid guy. I go braid to a leader. That's just how I fish. That's always how it's fished. Um, I do have some lines that of course are just monofilament the floor carbon. You know. But mainly it's braid. <clears throat> so we're going to see. We're going to find out on, you know, whether the OTX is better than the original or whether the OTX Pro is better than the OTX. Sad thing is, is that these are all different sizes. I wish they were the same, you know, 3,000, 4,000, and then 5,000. Okay. So we're going to do our best to find out. And everything like that and we're gonna see how well you know these guys stand up to like the eagle claws pre-made hooks and and everything else so we'll see how everything does guys i did um pick up a couple other things while i was there i grabbed um some tsunami these are their guide series these are two hook uh porgy rigs uh size two uh 40 pound test you guys can see there. And then I also picked up another one of these guys. If you guys don't have this, um, I highly recommend buying this. Um, it's a lot easier to have this and clip line. And it cuts everything. Okay. Pulls. And if you didn't know, if you squeeze. Well, here, I'm going to take it out and show you guys. like this is how long the string is so my hand here to here comes back in so you can clip it anywhere pull it off of your beard clip it in your your hat whatever so these are the clippers 
Yeah, the cool thing though is that if you clip them and pull down, they stay locked. So push up, clip, 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 pull down, and they're good to go. I highly recommend buying that instead of having, obviously, these are my scissors I use here. <laughs> you know, and then of course, everyone saw you use knives or toenail clippers, you know, or whatever. But on the water, instead of having to bring a big bulky scissor, even though you can get the, the smaller scissors, I mean, they're probably about, you know, maybe here. This is just all around, works great. You cut whatever you need, you put it back, you clip it on wherever you want it. Especially if you're running um, waders, you can just literally have it right there on you. Clip the line if you need to, and stuff like that. Ooh, excuse me. So we get a couple extra items I picked up when I was at the store. So we're gonna see how this stuff adds up and I'm gonna give you guys my honest review on it. And We'll go from there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. Turn on notifications on. And let everyone know, guys. I got fishing videos here coming. You know, if you want to go fishing a crab and book with us today, we've got really great rates for any package or just a random package you guys want to put together with us. You know, we'll work with you and everything else. And we'll do our best to give you guys the best rods or reels for when we go out please keep in mind and again tell everyone about us if i get 200 subscribers here i'm gonna do another big giveaway okay guys and again it could be one winner it can be 50 winners all depends on my daughter